In a world where long hair is all the rage, black women who are undoubtedly cursed with short hair are left to seek out hair extensions. But this trend starts with black women. In this short video slide, the evolution of hair extensions is revealed. A hundred years ago, women cared about their parents just as much as they do today. Real air extensions were seen as a luxury, and only people who had surplus money could afford them. The extensions of this era were called switches, and they were clipped into hair, just like tousled hair today. The Victorians are often remembered for their decadent tendencies, and they were no different when it came to their hair. In what was perhaps the heyday of human hair extensions, both men and women wore these products as a sign of beauty and wealth. Women used the extra lens to create complex and opulent hairstyles like Apollo knots, which resembled the beehives of the 1950s. There is well documented evidence that human hair extensions were widely used in ancient Egypt as cosmetic adornments worn by pharaohs and other important members of the society. These very intricate extensions were attached to the air using a complex system of weaves and knots. For the poorer citizens of Egypt, there were plenty of cheap knockoffs. Vegetable fibers were often used instead. Think of these as the cheap weaves we sometimes see today. You can thank our ancient Egyptian ancestors for the full voluminous hair flowing down your back. 5,000 years ago, they were busy laying the, f the groundwork, not just for the pyramids, but for today's ultra-modern hairdos. So now we can see that this trend is not only an African thing, but also has its roots in the European and Greek civilization. I am Jojo Ibo Join me next time as I give you more tips on fashion.